What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of the last war for Invicta. It was an arranged matchup with Above and Beyond. Uh, very, very fun war. Uh, the Invicta guys really, really brought the heat on this one. Really, finally, finally nice to see a percentage victory go our way. I think we've lost like 10 percentage victories in a row. Uh, so, good feeling for sure. But hats off to Above and Beyond. They had uh, really good bases. We had used quite a few bullies as they did as well. Um, so it really came down as, you know, it was a, it was a gritty fight to the end. That's for sure. Um, both sides struggled a bit with the nines. Like I said, uh, if you saw that, I kind of scrolled quickly, but Invicta missed a nine there. Um, and I think above and beyond missed two nines. One, two. Yep. So, you know, both sides, uh, like I said, gritty fight to the finish. They did get a triple on ride round. So that kind of is where they made up that extra star on the uh, missed nines. Uh, but Invicta held held strong and came away with a percentage victory. So congrats, gentlemen. Very nice war. A uh, lot of really sexy replays to show up in here. <clears throat> Again, we're going to start from the bottom. Have quite a few replays I want to rip through here because uh, there are some nice, nice attacks. What was the first one I had? 33. Let's jump right in. That's 32. Chad Paola. Love saying this guy's name. Chad's bringing some very creative attacks. Look at this army comp. <laughs> yeah, this is a Penta going on here. Uh, just watched a uh, video Powerbang did about dead zones um, where he Pentas a base. Uh <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't entirely agree with everything he was saying about it because I think the bases that it wasn't necessarily the fact that they were using dead zones. It's more that they were misusing the dead zones um, and not building the rest of their base accordingly. But anyways, uh, is what it is. You can see the suicide hero has now taken down the defensive queen uh, and is just looking pretty at this point because the, there's a little chunk of the base. The defensive queen is down and he's got five lava hounds that are about to go in. Here they go. One and two few balloons going in all around in a circle here. Uh, kind of just nice and easy way to judge the pathing, I believe. Not sure why Chad decided to go with the pent here, but I thought it was kind of neat. Um, so you see those loons are right in on top of that air defense. Everything's going to kind of go in this counterclockwise motion. These Teslas in the middle give them a bit of problem, but he drops just enough balloons to take them down, which is great because that Tesla is in range still of that Lava Hound, which is absolutely perfect. Rage is down. Everything's busting, uh, busting everything up in there. Uh, they do kind of circle around this air defense for a moment, which kind of sucks, but he does have the, all those pups and this one balloon. Bam, crashes, just needs one more shot from the pup. Oh, wow, there it is. I knew there was one pup that kind of finished it off, or I lied because it's got like a sliver of health left. That is unbelievable. I can't believe he didn't get that air defense. Anyhow, uh, Rage is down on this other side. He's got so many balloons, and all you need is a sliver. Boom, haste right on top of that air defense. There it goes. Cannon is the last defense remaining in the mortar there. Boom, three stars in the bag for Mr. Fowler. Or flower, as the uh, Invicta guys like to call them. <clears throat> nice job, Chatty. All right. A couple up here. Montzar going in on number 31, C dub. Uh, so, very compact base style here. Uh, Sort of centralized queen base, uh, but Montar goes in with the queen charge here from the nine o'clock position. Just going to get very, very, very good value. I shouldn't say queen charge. He walks the queen down. Um, someone was asking me recently about how to kind of go uh, queen walk govo. Um, I think this was a good example. You, you kind of, the idea is you want to walk down the side of the base, take out as, um, as much valuable stuff as you possibly can. And then you're going to use her, like use the walk as one side of your funnel. And you can send in a cold blooded golem with a few valks, just like Montzar does here. And only using a couple whiz on the uh, on the other side of the funnel. Uh, and then using the rest of the whiz to back up and move everything into the base. I thought that earthquake was kind of interesting there. Just tosses her down for fun, I guess. Uh, as you can see, the queen walk is going splendidly. There's only one place really for her to go from this point, and it is down around. Does get her kind of low there, but takes out the cannon just in time. No big deal. So she gets locked up a little bit here. But as you can see, in a few moments here, uh, he's going to go ahead and rage it up, blast through the rest of these buildings, step up, and I believe take that defensive queen. Yep, down goes the defensive queen, and bam. 
In comes this golem I'm talking about. Golem, a few ways on this side to create that funnel. He had already dropped a wizard over here to pre-make that other side of the funnel. And everything's just instantly created. And you can drop these Valks, drop the king. And within seconds, they are in that base. So jump goes down. is going to open up a huge rest of the chunk of this base. They don't have to worry even about the defensive queen. But they're getting in there. They're triggering bombs. So that's kind of your goal. You want to try and defuse as many bomb spots and traps as you can on one side of the funnel with the walk and then you kind of close it off with the rest and send it in at a, at a bomb location or whatever you might be trying to accomplish. They ha they should have a target as your kill squad always should. Uh, but as you see the hogs sprinkling in now from all different directions, there's really only a few point defenses all on the outside here. So he can just surgically just bam, 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 just drop them all, all at the same time. One heel goes down over that expo and Tesla farm just to get those hogs in and over there. Things are looking good. He's got the king in there just rages it up now. Queen is in there still with a healer on her, working on that town hall. There's going to be just enough hawks to take down these Teslas. Queen steps up and helps it out. It is clean up time. Very nice tack monster with the swag heel in the middle. <laughs> Atta boy. Tree in the bag. Uh, 28 life has just been a beast for Invicta lately, um, or always, I should say. Uh, very, very good attacker here. Uh, life brings a more standard issue Govaho uh, with the uh, five Valks. Uh, still gets 22 hogs out of the deal, so goes kind of cuts it close on the uh, funneling troops, but figures out exactly what he needs. Both golems are in on this cannon, so uh, very tricky to make that funnel, um, but it's kind of a downfall of this guy's base building because if he had switched, say, that Archer Tower and the Wizard Tower, those wizards would not be safe over there with the golems on that. Just as an example, you kind of screw people's funnel up. But golems are going in. Valks are going in right in behind. Uh, another thing about this base I saw, I don't know if this was a cleanup or not, but he knew it. This dead zone isn't a dead zone. It's got Teslas in it. And it also connects with one jump right to the queen chamber. So all those Teslas, a poison goes down on that queen, heal goes down on the Valks, jump is down, letting all of that stuff into basically the entire base. Heroes are in there helping it out and in come the hogs on the back end to just help out those Valks and keep them alive as long as possible. Everything's looking fine and dandy. Starts sprinkling the hogs in on the remainder of the base. Still has three more in the bag plus a heal. I think he's gonna drop down somewhere around this location because <laughs> in comes a pack of hogs. Here comes that next heal, any second now. <clears throat> there it is. Just giving them some time to work through that expo. They're going to jump into this last chamber. There's three more hogs. He's going to take down that wizard tower with, and all is going to be pretty fine and dandy right now. Uh, that cannon is a little bit of a threat. Does lose a few to that spring trap. Nice spring trap placement there, but no big deal. The queen's in there. going to help out. Doesn't have quite enough hogs to finish through that last cannon, actually, but it doesn't really matter. He's got so much. If you guys see everything going on up here, he is losing Valks and units to the pups a little bit. Not a heck of a lot because uh, there was a wizard in there finally to help clean that up. Uh, but you see the Valks kind of working through the wall. Valk and King all on this back end. The Queen's going to be just fine. She still has her ability, too. So as soon as she gets in range of that cannon, he's going to pop that. And it's going to be GG for this base. So much trash to work through. Very, very quick attack. But like I said, if those Teslas weren't there. The Valks would have never jumped into that compartment. They would have jumped. I mean, that jump still is going to connect via this wall. But you're going to leave four stuff into this compartment first, not just right at the queen. But what about three stars in the bag for life? And I believe he had another six star war. He's just putting up six stars like a champ. <clears throat> uh, what's next? 22. Nice. Rob had a really sexy attack here, too. Uh, so nine Valks he's got. Kind of your old-fashioned Go Valo. Uh, what I liked about this is the one jump connects all of his air defense, right? Um, it doesn't quite connect you to that queen chamber, but the queen is pressed against the wall and is going to jump in here. So one jump over the core opens almost the entire base and all the air defense. So that's very, very... Uh, very, very big flaw in this base design. So Rob really, really exploits that. Decides to bring nine Valks. Just going to peel and get everything in and take all those air defense and bring 17 balloons to sprinkle on the outside. And this base is just going to be done for. Watch how this plays out. Valks are now in. CC troops coming out. It is a P.E.K.K.A. They don't stand a chance against Valks. Heal is going to go down. It is down. Healing all those Valks under like 
three Teslas, four Wizard Towers, all the CC troops, and the King. So huge value on that heel there with the Valks in there. Here comes that second jump, letting everything in through. Basically, the whole base is accessible, right? This whole bottom side is, the whole outside is. There's very small compartments that, that those jumps don't connect. See what I mean about this queen? Their uh, queen con uh, really, really should consider moving your queen three spaces away so she doesn't jump backwards because in come the Valks and King and down she goes. Double jump, go Valo is just going fantastic. King's about to step up. Sweeper's now down. Both sweepers are down. And King and Queen are about to finish off. The only remaining air defenses still has eight more balloons. He's going to sprinkle up on this 12 o'clock section and finish off the stuff up there. Queen's going to work on a wall for a little bit and then help with the cleanup. But this base is done for. Does not stand a chance. No air defenses down. Ton of balloons coming in from all angles. See you later. Very nice tack, Rob. Love me a good old fashioned go, la uh, go Valo. You don't see that against the anti-threes very much because generally they do a very good job of A, splitting up the air defense so a jump doesn't connect all of them like that or even more than a couple of them. Uh, as well, they're very, very, very offset. So even a double jump might not get you to the queen. But uh, it's, very, it's just risky, right? Because you got to get all the air defense if you're not bringing hounds. And if you bring in a double jump, it's kind of risky to judge where uh, where your Valks are going to go. So, But when they're all compact like that, it's a great choice, Rob. Very nice tag. Uh, what else we got? 19, Shadow Hunter, Derp Do. Nice. This is actually a good attack as well. Speaking of good old fashioned attacks, this is a good old fashioned cold blooded Lalo. If you're going to see this kind of section of the base right here, we got your queen against the wall. So basically, the queen is in the same chamber as an air defense. Very, very easy funnel to create here. Can just open up the wall, let a king and a golem in. They're going to get the air defense and the queen. So um, that is a very, very big risk you're taking when you're uh, base building. Uh, I'm not going to say you'll always get cold-blooded Laloed, but it is a very, very good chance that someone with very good deployment is going to three-star you with a cold-blooded Lalo. Because if you allow one golem, a handful of wizards, a king and a queen to take an air defense, the CC troops, and your defensive queen... You're in trouble because that guy's going to have enough room to bring exactly what Derpy Doo does. Four Lava Hounds, 13 balloons he's got here. So the Kill Squad's job's done. Really, really just wants the queen to mop up these pups. Poison goes down to help that out, but she's going to finish things off. And then you're going to see four Lava Hounds on their way in with a bunch of balloons backing up. So here they come from 9 o'clock, 1 and 2. A few balloons there, a couple balloons there. Going to just kind of take out that compartment and start pushing everything up into this core. Once he does, he's going to drop a couple more Lava Hounds on the backside air defense and keep just pushing everything into this base. He's got two. Two more rages he's got to drop and a haste spell. So there goes that the other two lava um, lava hounds. Like I was saying, he's got balloons coming in from the backside. The sweeper's giving him a little bit of problems. He would have liked to take down that expo with that, but no big deal. Look at all these balloons on that air defense. He only has this three o'clock air defense to worry about, and two lava hounds sitting right on top. Love the two balloons dropping over here, taking out that Tesla all on their own. Bam, bam, bam! I'm gonna step up and get that archer tower too. Down it goes. Really just has the Expo Sweeper, this little line of defenses you see right here. That uh, Wizard Tower is a little bit of concern, but there's just too many balloons and too little time for that Wizard Tower to get to all of them. Bam! Gets them just in time. I think he ends up losing. Uh, no, the Expo is locked on to the locked on to the Lava Hound, so yeah, no big deal. He's got a handful of balloons with that Lava Hound. Does it burst just in time? I don't think it does. No, does not burst, but... Um, doesn't matter. He's got enough pops around the base. He's got some minions doing cleanup. Very, very sexy Penta or uh, cold blooded Lalo dirt. A lot of creative air attacks in this war. I like it. Tree stars in the bag. Uh, what else I got? Uh, that's tough. Let's check out that one. Oh, 98%. Oh, three. Um. I have 14 Vic, Mr. Big Dog. Uh, Light's kind of the army choice here. Um, sorry, oh, and I gotta sneeze. Oh! Wow, crazy. <clears throat> so, anyways, like I was saying, I really like the army choice here. Nice jump gets him in here, and a nice jump gets him in and out to the rest of the base. I don't like these open sections of the base no matter kind of what you're thinking um because really like one jump now other than the two compartments on either side of it don't the whole base is accessible right i mean 
I don't know. Not a fan of these old apartments. A few walls just closing those off, I think, are completely worth it. Easy. Uh, second jump here is going to get Valk stuck on the outside. So if you have a few defenses on the outside, they're going to just going to buy them that much more time to take down those Valks. But is what it is. Some guys like uh, trying new things in these uh, very open alleyway concept bases is uh, quite the hype right now. I'm still not convinced on them though. Uh, see all these Valks and they're doing work. Like they're just going to continue to just rock the rest of this base. They have no worries of getting stalled up on walls. It sends in a hog, few hogs with a heel on the one compartment and just not, nothing. Just sends them in on that outer compartment. He now brings two and four backside balloons because there's no air defenses remaining. Defensive queen is down. Balloons are just going to drop bombs. And this base is GG. Look at all the cleanup troops remaining to just absolutely destroy this. Nice attack. Big dog. Look at that. Look at all those troops. <laughs> Beautiful. Three stars in the bag. Sexy. All right. I got one more. It's getting a bit of a lengthy video, but was a good one, right? A very, very fun, sexy, down to the nitty gritty end. Um, loved it. My man, Hinraka, going in here with uh, a queen charge sort of going right into this queen chamber. I thought this was really cool. Again, guys, what do you see here? You see CC, right? You see air defense, and you see defensive queen. Well, if you devise a plan to use as little troop space as possible to get all of those components, you're leaving the base really, really uh, crippled at that point. So uh, he's got as long as he gets the defensive queen, gets the CC troops taken care of, and that uh, air defense, he can bring 14 balloons, three lava hounds on the back end, and kind of do as he pleases. Uh, has three haste and a rage as well. I thought that was great. See so yeah, this queen, like nice jump placement for the queen. Love the little plan he's got here. Sort of a suicide king helping uh, create that funnel on that side. Ends up getting a few defenses out of the deal too, so that's good. Uh, air defense is down. Defensive queen is down. Just like I said, queen's going to continue to step up and out comes the drags or out comes the loon and the um, wizard and witch. But poison goes down to help that out. Rage is down. I like his ballsiness here. It does not pop his ability. I love it. Saves that ability, and you're going to see him use it a little bit here, and it kind of pays off that he saved it. But that rage is getting huge value. She's just taking out so much. She's even going to step up, I think, and get that second air defense out of the deal. Yeah, here she goes. So air defense number two is now taken down. So this queen charge is even that much more valuable. Like just insane. Has the three lava hounds for the remainder two air defense. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, he was able to bring more funneling troops and, and so on because he only had to bring the three hounds at, four, at 14 balloons in the back. Did not have to bring a fourth hound um, as a usual sort of cold-blooded may go. Uh, but you wouldn't have the troop space with the healers anyways. Um but as you can see, everything's going great. You know, last lava hound going in, going to start popping those Teslas, flies it in with that haste. A uh, little bit off because uh, the balloons don't really get effect until they're right on top of the Archer Tower, but no big deal. It's a three star. You can tell already few defenses to go, and there's just a ton of balloons in there wrecking everything. Queen steps up now to help things out. G, G for this base. Very nice attack in. You are becoming the master of air, it looks like. Very nice queen charge, though. One thing about your base designs, guys, really, really think about that. Uh, you do not want a defensive or an, an offensive queen to hop in your queen chamber and have access without doing anything else, like a jump or earthquake. You don't want her to have access to any more of your air defenses. Um, never mind one to begin with, but two, and that's that's a no-no. And guys like Hinrak are just going to take that all day long. So very, very good war above and beyond. Uh, nice try. Um, you know, percentage losses. We know firsthand what that's like. So it's finally a relief uh, for us to be on the winning side of a percentage uh, uh, war, but uh, is what it is. Uh, you take the good, you take the bad. Uh, right after this war, actually, Invicta matched up with Wizard on her phase two. Uh, so very, very tough war ahead. Uh, lots, lots of good attacks I've seen so far in that they're uh, they're in battle day right now. So uh, we'll see how that goes for them. Uh, I think that I'm going to call it an afternoon, though, gentlemen and ladies, because uh, I have a lot of stuff to do today. And I'm sorry, I've been kind of behind on my recaps. I'd like to say just sort of behind on my content in general, uh, working a lot of hours at my new restaurant and just kind of a lot of life things that are getting in the way right now other than uh, making my videos. So. It's unfortunate, but I'm trying to catch up a little bit and uh, think she'll be back on track soon. Again, apologies about the um, 
also about the face cam sort of being the audio being off as it's been sort of lately. I think it's something to do with uh, my processor when I'm running things in the background. Uh, so I think I have that fixed. Plus, I'm going to start experimenting with a new way to record my audio anyway. So we'll see how that goes. But that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help it bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out.